All right, right in front of me, this is the 2016 13-inch MacBook Pro, and this is the 2017 Razer Blade Stealth 13-inch. I personally wanted to see the difference between these two 13-inch Ultrabooks. We can see this is the space gray, just to look outside of it. It's a full metallic build. Two USB ports on the side, nothing in the front, and on the right side, we have other two USB-C ports and the headphone jack. No obvious speaker grills or vents, but there is some slots here for breathing, most likely, and sound. Now, on the very bottom, we have four little plastic. They don't really feel like too much rubber. They're actually pretty hard rubber. Place it on a table. It's kind of slippery. You can see that it tosses around. Now, if we go on to the new Razer Blade, let me show you on the outside. Now, the Razer Blade Stealth is in black. It feels pretty good. It feels almost identical to the MacBook. It's a little bit longer and a little bit more narrow. Totally more fingerprint prone. Uh, as soon as I end up touching there, you can see that my smudges of my fingerprint oils. Base gray is a little bit more, less prone to seeing fingerprints since it's not as dark. Light up logo. Of the snakes here no light up for the apple logo now you can see these lines here kind of gives it a square look to it they don't really do anything just give it a little different kind of look and on the front you see there's nothing but an led on the left side we have usb c thunderbolt 3 usb a 3.0 and then there's a headphone jack we will see another usb 3.0 and a hdmi port so something that the macbook does not have but going back to here you will see that the bottom, way more fingerprints because I've been holding the bottom a lot. I didn't clean it. It is ugly. Definitely you can tell that it's been handled. And then we can see a long strip of rubber to keep this from slipping around. As you can see, it just, you can hear it. This is way, way better as in not slipping around. This will slip. If you put them together, the MacBook has more of a square. This is more a rectangle. The MacBook Pro has a little slit here for you to put your fingers under there. We still have the screen gap there, so it's not completely flush. You'll see that the gap is a lot bigger, and we still have the gap for the screen. And now we're gonna test a one-handed opening. If I just do that, you can see it slides, and it picks up without having to lift the bottom. And then the razor blade stealth, it also kind of opens <laughs> one-handed, but the spring is a lot more firmer, so it picks up the bottom. This MacBook Pro is used for a couple months, and the Stealth is brand new. It's only been used for around five days now, so it still picks up. Obviously, these are running different operating systems, so as soon as I open the lid for the MacBook, it wants to prompt us into getting inside. Power button and touch bar, of course, is all controlled through here. And then the power button on the razor blade. You can barely feel it. It, it. I almost can't tell that I'm pressing it. Just because I've been practicing, I know how it's that I'm actually pushing it. Clearly see the MacBook has a much larger surface for the trackpad. The Stealth is a little bit around half the size of that. They feel pretty much the same type of glass. There's no delay. It's very, very delicate. Same with the Mac. So these are really good track pads. When you have the lids open, the base feels a lot thicker on the MacBook. To show you a little bit better, here's a flat, and we can see that it's a lot thinner for the base of the Stealth. But if we close these, they're pretty much identical when they're closed. And then this is the key travel. Now this is what it sounds like if I'm typing kind of fast on this keyboard. I'm just gonna press buttons. Razor blade. The keyboard sound, I know it's not gonna be a big deal to anybody, but just to let you know the differences. I'm on YouTube and I'm gonna be playing the same exact song on both pages. So that's full volume, full volume for both devices here. The Stealth first. And now let's do the MacBook. And now I'm gonna get this closer right here.
Now the speakers look to be the same length. You can't even feel the speaker. Even though they have the grills there, you can feel and tell that this has the grills into it. So it's cut out. You can see how much longer the MacBook Pro is. That's accommodating for the bigger trackpad. And if we take a look at the bezels, we can clearly see that the MacBook has thinner bezels than the Razer Blade. One obvious major plus is that the Razer has a touch sensitive screen, very responsive, and the MacBook Pro does not have any. As far as wiggle goes, and tap the top and top, and you'll see that that's how much the wobble. Obviously, you're not gonna be touching the screen, so it doesn't really matter at that point, but if I'm tapping down here, very steady. If I start tapping on the screen, obviously you're not hitting it that hard, but I'm just wanting to show you that it does wobble. But if I were be tapping on it, moving around, it doesn't wobble as much as you think it would. Okay, so we're gonna see how much we could really lean this. So that does lean quite a bit in there. How much will the MacBook lean? That's as much as the MacBook is going to lean. Let's see what it looks like side by side. Okay, so we're gonna push the MacBook as far back as we could. So that is as far there. And let's do the Razor. And the Razor goes a little bit further. Stealth does lean a lot more if you care. Close it with one hand. Oh, wants to slide off because of the rubber parts. Now what I noticed about both of these that the fans do not kick in at all. I don't hear them if I'm watching YouTube videos that have multiple tabs open. I do hear a slight coil whine in this area of the razor blade that's there. They're known for that little coil whine. Man, this is completely silent. And the razor blade stealth is mine and this is my buddy. So he's letting me compare these both. So in terms of design, and quality feel they both feel amazing you could always bring this anywhere and feel like you're a professional it's still elegant it doesn't look like super big like those gaming laptops or really squared out it's definitely the windows equivalent of the macbook pro look alike now since this has rubber on the bottom i'm gonna lay this on top the sides and you can see how much bigger the 13th inch razor is than the MacBook Pro. But the MacBook Pro is vertically longer. We see that it does have a lip here. So they're very close in size. The Apple logo no longer lights up, so it's just a little chrome piece. And the razor logo here does light up. Let's see if I could just pop it open. Now let me close it and show you. That's off, pretty dark there. Now open it. You see it lights up. You could turn that on and off in the settings. And what's also nice is the Chroma keyboard. You get a customizable backlit key. It's an RGB backlit keyboard. It looks really cool, has different presets. I will show you more in the full review of the Razer Blade. We can see the logo light up. And there you guys have it. I know this wasn't an in-depth review or comparison. It's more of just what it looks like, how it looks like. It was more of a comparison towards the build quality. Both the MacBook Pro 13 and the Razer Blade Stealth are expensive laptops. You can build editing and gaming machines with $1,400, but obviously here what you're gonna be paying for is ultra portability and sleek and sexy devices being Mac OS or Windows 10. So if you've been looking for a Windows-based laptop but you want want that build quality like a MacBook. The Razer Blade Stealth is definitely one of those to consider. I'll have all the links in the description down below as always, so if you wanna check out more information on whatever I'm showcasing here. I have one more video, which is gonna be my full review of the Razer Blade Stealth. I'll be testing some games and editing to see if this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be keeping. I'm pretty much an average consumer and I can't have my hands on everything, but I definitely wanna be testing this out because I also want to find the best looking and performing laptop so we will find out shortly if this is something that I'll be keeping, something that you're interested in, even if I don't keep it, we'll find out. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.